I feel like there's something going on over here. Oh, is that a street cut? That is a street cut. Oh, dude, a street cut. Wait, are you smoking hookah and giving street cuts? Yeah. How much to go for? A hundred dollars. A hundred dollars? Yeah. The New York City subway, an inescapable yet necessary evil all New Yorkers suffer with. It's the weekend and I wonder what nasty surprises this place has for us today. How cute, there's pigeons living up there by the speakers. Mike, how long have you been waiting for the train? I just got here, man. I've been here for like 10 minutes. It's 10 more minutes to go. Encouraging. By the way, my commute today is gonna be a long one. This is supposed to take an hour because we're gonna go see a nice condo in Brooklyn. Quick intermission, I have to transfer and uh, look at this thing. It's some sort of like track cleaning or repair device. The Mantis. Sounds dangerous, says it's dangerous. There's like bolts and stuff in there. All right, that was a horrible train ride and it took way longer than 52 minutes. Now I gotta get oriented. There's the train, 4th Street, 9th Avenue. Wait, 4th Avenue and 9th Street. Well, if you didn't know you were in Brooklyn and you saw this mural, it would straighten you out. Look at that friendly dog. He's so friendly, I'm almost afraid to pet him. Well, at least we don't have to go too far. Six minute walk, that's not bad. Wow, look at the bumper stickers on this car. The hippies were right, that one's my favorite. Because what they were right about is still up for debate. It's either everything or nothing. I don't think there's any in between. Look at how bad our marketing is for this apartment. These pictures, they look like they were taken by the super accidentally when it was his day off. Apparently there's a doorman here, this should be cool. And look, right next door there's this park, which looks Looks like a skate park and a basketball court. Wow, this place is really big, and it looks like we've got a street-facing view. Finishes look decent. All right, so this is a one-bedroom luxury condo. It's for rent, and in 30 seconds on my phone, I was able to get way better pictures than any of our advertisements, so this will definitely help us get this place rented. This says the amenities are closed. Let's uh, check them out anyways. Oh cool, this looks like the kids' playroom. This says the gym is still closed. Okay, it looks like it's really still closed. That's okay, I believe that it's in here. By the front door, you got two coat closets. Both of these are pretty good. And this one's got a light so you can see what's inside. Hopefully just clothes, not a person. Aside from this, there's another closet over here. I'm gonna have to move this. It looks like it comes with the place. Looks like shelves, that's useful. But what's in here? I was a little concerned because there wasn't a laundry room, but we don't need one, we've got it in the apartment. Now from the windows to the closet, we've got 20 feet 10 inches by nine feet eight inches. This should be enough space for you to get comfortable with. I would mount the entertainment center right there on that wall and then put the couch against this one. And then I'd move that probably over to the kitchen and set up a dining table. The kitchen itself is really nice. There's a full size fridge, five burner stove, a microwave, there's also a dishwasher, there's a sink sprayer, and there's also this magnet which could hold something. Cabinet space is really good, they're kind of everywhere. And you see this outlet? This is where we're gonna put the rolling countertop, which I brought into the kitchen backwards. I think that's a better spot for it than over here. But more importantly, what do you think? And if you think you wanna have fun like this six days a week, make sure you're subscribed. I make videos like this six days a week. The bedroom here is really big. Nine feet, five inches by 11 feet, six inches. I'm realizing now we got a decent view of the top of One World Trade from these windows. And wait till you see the closet in here. It's actually really good. It looks like there's a built-in dresser, probably from the container store, but it's nice. And of course, the rest 
rest of this is big enough for whatever size bed you want. Last but not least, let's see the bathroom. Oh wow, it's actually really good. You've got a big tub with the shower head kind of in the middle. In New York, this is how you know you've made it. Shower head in the middle, not in the corner. That's fancy. Speaking of fancy, check out this sink. It's shaped like a bowl. And although this is not a medicine cabinet, it looks like we've got some storage underneath the sink. Plus we got towel hooks here and also on the back of the door. What does this thing do? Something turned on, maybe it has a heated floor. I'm not sure, I should know these things. But the best part about the apartment is that one block away, there is so much going on. Look at all these restaurants and cafes. Right on the corner, there's a little French place, Pastry World Bakery. That sounds like a phenomenal idea. Okay, coffee here, really good. I also got some work done, that's good too. Oh, look at that, if you wanna buy something for your shrine at home, you can step in here, they got plenty of stuff. It looks like there's another coffee cafe over there. If when you think of Park Slope, Brooklyn, all that comes to mind is coffee shops and craft beer, you wouldn't be wrong. There's a ton of places to eat and hang out here. And the whole street from one side all the way to the other is pretty much all restaurants. A restaurant walk of this could be its own video. I don't know if I'm cut out to make that or if any of you would wanna watch. Is this a yard sale? Check out this lamp. Is any of this stuff haunted? Darn it, I was looking for a really good discount. Oh, sweet, Seinfeld, Donnie Darko, rainbow colored roller skates. If by the time you guys see this video, this stuff isn't sold yet, come back to Park Slope. All right, now we're back here by the office. The train to get here was not as bad as the train to get to Brooklyn. And my glasses are starting to fall off. I think I have a solution to fix them. I'm gonna need some of this boiling hot water. This is my only pair of glasses. I can see without them, I just can't see very far away. I'm nearsighted. Which, as a married man living in New York, might be a superpower. All right, let's hope I do this correctly. I really don't want to break these. That would absolutely suck. I'm not sure how long I'm supposed to leave this in here. Okay, they're definitely bending. All right, I think I did this correctly. Are they crooked on my face? They are tight, that's good. Oh, I just took a quick nap. Check this out. I wish I could sleep here every single day, but there's another office right here. The only problem is there's a lot of noise coming in from these windows. Is this window broken? Oh, I don't know what the rent is here, but my guess is it's pretty cheap. But that would end up being a complete and total waste of money. I feel like there's something going on over here. Oh, is that a street cut? That is a street cut. Oh, dude, a street cut. Wait, are you smoking hookah and giving street cuts? Yeah, right. How much to go for? A hundred dollars. A hundred dollars? Yeah. I'm playing. I'll try fifty dollars. What's your Instagram? Flexed cuts. And how many days a week are you on the corner of Just Broadway? Saturday. Just Saturday. Okay. Fifty dollar haircuts and hookah. What's in the hookah? You'll find out after you smoke it. <laughs>